Okay, so we have our beginning now, right? We have the, the cube and the arrow pointing saying, hey user, come interact with me. The next step is to make it, to create this, the, the stage that the scene will be built upon um, in the experience will be built upon. And we're gonna do that now. So the first thing we wanna do, uh, now that we have, uh, you know, the user wanting to tap on this, uh, we have to create another trigger. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna hit a tap trigger. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hide the cube, hide the arrow and display the stage. And the stage is gonna be this flat cube here, or this, yeah, this flat cube. Uh, it's really flat. Uh, I'm actually gonna make it flatter. So let's come over here to our scene and I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna hide the solid cube and I'm gonna select on our flat cube. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna unlock this so I can have different scales and I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit. Uh, like so, I like that. I just don't need a very thick kind of stage for our scene. Uh, so let's show this again. Now, on tap, I'm actually gonna cre create an action and I'm gonna go to hide. And now this is saying on tap, I wanna hide the solid cube and I want this to go pretty fast. So I'm gonna go 0.012 seconds and, and I'm gonna go linear because I just wanted to go shoot and just go. I don't want it to ease in or ease out, just disappear. Go away. Uh, and you can see what it looks like by, by hitting play. Zoom, zoom. And you see how it's going in the center? I want it to look like it's going down into the ground because it's going to go down the ground the same time that this flat cube is going to come out. So it may look like they're like morphing into each other. Um, so let's actually add another trigger on the tap. I'm going to stack these on top of each other. That means they'll play at the same time. So I'm going to add a move right here. And I'm going to say I want to move in the Y direction because that's down the green. If you look over here, we got Y and then down. Um, so I'm going to move down like negative 30 centimeters. Uh, and that'll go up. So you see we have the ease in, ease out. I want to go linear and I want to go dang fast, 0.21. Because that's the same as, as this here too. Uh, and this is set to linear. So duration's fast, linear, easing to linear. Uh, same here, we have duration's fast and we have easing linear. So it goes zoop. Now let's watch what this happens. It's gonna scale down and move at the same time. Oop, uh, that's pretty good. It's still a little high, but you know, it'll work for now. Let's try it again. Oop. All right, let's move it down even farther. So I'm gonna say move, and I'm gonna make the move go a little longer. I'm gonna have it go 0.2. All right, I think it can move even farther. Maybe 50. Let's see what happens. Let's get crazy. All right, here we go. Zoop. Oh, that looks much better. Okay, cool. So now I have this arrow. Oh, I need to hide the arrow. Cool, so let's do another one. We'll hit add an action on the tap. We're gonna say hide. And instead of the solid cube, which I have selected and the action is actually on, I'm gonna say the subject is the pointer. And I'm gonna make this go 0.25 again. So it's gonna go fast, oops, 0.12. Uh, and then I'm gonna have it go linear. So those are gonna hide at the same time. Let's test it out, Shink. nice. Now I'm gonna make the flat cube appear, but I'm gonna put it on the cube as well because I'm gonna have a tap here. So uh, instead of hide this time, I'm actually coming out here and go show, oh show. So when you click on this, um, I'm gonna have it show, but I don't want it to show the cube. Um, I want it to show the flat cube. I'm gonna have it ease into the animation uh, and I'll have it go a little slower. So let's just see what this looks like. You'll find there's a lot of like back and forth like this. You're gonna create something and you're gonna test it. Uh, oh, so that looks pretty good. It's nice, it's soft. Um, it kind of looks like it absorbs into the ground there. Um, so yeah, I like it. That's great. So now we have our stage built um, in this whole scene that we're building in the next one. Our next um, little tutorial, we'll be creating the scene around this uh, as well. So that's great. So now we have, we've started our middle section of our, of our experience, the, of the story. Um, awesome, good stuff.